a democracy cannot really survive unless it has fairness in financial transactions for its ordinary citizens. That's really what we're trying to do, is to make the financial system fair enough that it can survive this great disparities between rich and poor. The Center for Responsible Lending is targeted at saving and promoting family wealth through home ownership and by preventing abusive financial practices by large industry players, payday lenders in particular, who would make a $300 or a $500 loan at 400% interest rate. Payday lenders target low-income neighborhoods and communities of color. Predatory lending was rampant in the state of North Carolina. And we saw people having all types of problems. You saw people, one, becoming homeless, people losing their houses, people losing their cars, people can't pay utility bills, you know. So a first step was to stop that in the state of North Carolina. The Center for Responsible Lending was able to support legislation in North Carolina to make payday lending illegal. That success and the type of coalition that the Senate was able to build around, whether it was the AARP, the NAACP, grassroots folks, the Justice Center, you know, whomever, that could come to the table and just stand up and say, this is not right. We couldn't accomplish much of anything by ourselves, but when we join with organizations all across the country and jointly, hand in hand, move for a policy that will protect real families against practices that have been abusive for years, we actually can make a difference. The work is not finished. There are still uh, dramatic challenges for family security for working families. What I like most about this particular award is that it lets us say to the bad guys that we're going to be here forever. We're going to build this into an endowment and we're going to be in your face for as long as time continues. <laughs>